High performance computing will boost sectors like healthcare, manufacturing, banking, finance, and others. This, according to the CEO of the Hong Kong Science and Technology Park, Mr. Albert Wong. Again, he spoke to Arise Business correspondent Rotuzu Diri in Riyadh at the Future Investment Initiative. All right, this is, of course, Arise News here in Riyadh at the Future Investment Initiative uh, being put forward by the Saudi Arabian uh, Public Investment Fund. Uh, this is the eighth edition, and we are speaking with uh, a giant in the technology uh, space, Mr. Albert Wong, the CEO of the Hong Kong Science Park. It's good to see you, sir. Thank you so much for Thank talking you. to Arise Great News. Thank you. Um, yeah, so, you know, I, I did want to ask you what the significance of this event uh, means to you being in the tech space. Yeah, this is, uh, we heard a lot about this FII and uh, we want to come here because this is about investment and the future. As a science part, we are about technology innovation about the future. Although we do a lot of research, we are more, in, more into research and development about startup, about technology for the future. So investment is a very important part of all this technology development. And Middle East is a very important part of, um, of employment of technology and investment and everything. That's mm. why this is important. Now, are you um, here to, to, to seek investments? So, you know, what's, what's your, I guess, your mission statement while you're here? Yeah, it's always both ways. Um, we, obviously, um, we are looking, helping companies from Hong Kong, from China, from Southeast Asia to explore businesses in this part of the world, explore investment in this part of the world. But likewise, we want to bring investments to our part of the world because um, Asia is a huge, huge market, 1.4 billion population in China, but Saudi Arabia, Middle East is also a huge and fast growing inve investment opportunity. Now you did kind of already uh, allude to this at the beginning with your first answer, but can, once again, can you just give us, a, uh, those that don't know what the Hong Kong Science Park uh, does? Yeah, Hong Kong is a, uh, is a international hub for innovation technology for the country, for China, because we have a lot of strong research in science and technology. We have five universities that rank top 100 in the world. And we are also the gateway, international gateway of the country of China to the rest of the world, one by one role and everything. And the science park itself is a large incubator. We have about 2,000 companies in the park in a small area of about 22 hectares, 2,000 companies. Of the 2,000 companies, about 900 of them are startups. So we are a large incubator. Also, we provide a lot of um, communal technology facilities to including biomedical, electronics, data, all these things to facilitate, you know, start up to do product development. We are also an accelerator. We invest in some of the companies. We are also a VC fund. We are a 130 million US dollar VC fund. We invest in early stage companies to help them go through their early funding, funding need and bring them all over the world. Okay. Fantastic. So um, you made uh, some announcements recently about some new infrastructure. Um, one, this high performance computing, computing yeah. service. Well, yeah. what, what in practical terms can that do for someone in the healthcare sector of banking yeah. and finance? Well, we, we talk a lot about AI nowadays. What is AI? AI is all about data, algorithm, and computing power. You, have all, you, have need, all, you need all, all three of them. You need a lot of data to train the machine. You need the uh, algorithm so that you can train it properly but you need super computing power. It's not like your, your normal PC can do that, you cannot. You need huge data center and super computing power. So we started a new uh, HPC, high performance computing center, just a couple of weeks ago. This is 500p kind of capabilities at start, and we're gonna expand it to, um, to cover even more uh, because we need that to develop AI as an important future. Mm. And uh, we're gonna, we're going to build more of that, and uh, this is a very important part of AI development. Fantastic. You also announced <clears throat> a microelectronics uh, micro uh, center that's going to be inaugurated later on this year. Yeah. Is that more about semiconductors as well? Very much, because uh, as you know, uh, electronics everywhere. Um, and in, in a car today, it's going to have like 2,000 sensors. Electronics everywhere around us. And um, we need the, sen the electronics are getting smaller and smaller. We want to play, the get, play this game in semiconductor, IC design, and uh, micro electronic center in Hong Kong is the first step to go into even, maybe even third generation micro, uh, semiconductor, not just silicon, but other materials. So it's a, it is a high tech, um, high investment kind of um, development in microelectronics. Mm. Now, th there's been a lot of talk here about how Saudi Arabia wants to look within and invest more within itself. If they were to come to you and say, hey, look, we're offering you this amount of funds, uh, what, what can you do for the, the economy here? What, what would your response uh, be? Yeah, um, we, we don't just come here and 
get the money and get the business. And, and now we want to be committed to here. Uh, we, we don't just come here and, and take a look at it. We want companies to come here and stay for a long time and explore businesses here. And likewise, I keep saying that, likewise, we want technology company from this part of the world to explore our part of the world. So we, we want to keep this going both ways. Mm. Final question for you, sir. Um, I guess we've already talked a lot about AI. In, in 2025, does AI continue to dominate the headlines in your view? I would say definitely, but uh, AI will be everywhere. We're talking about AI for drug discovery. AI for entertainment, AI in really everything. So AI is not just one technology. In my opinion, AI will be everywhere. And uh, I think we have to know what AI is all about. I'm seeing the convergence of AI with other technologies like biomedical, electronics, green tech, everything. FinTech is converging. This convergence is happening faster than you think. Mm. Mr. Wong, thank you so much for your time. CEO of the Hong Kong Science thank you. Park. Thanks for talking to Horizons. Appreciate it.